back home in Cali. I'm at my mom's house. I just literally landed at 11.40 last night and I didn't get home until like 1.30 because the LAX traffic was absolutely insane. I literally just woke up. I am at my mom's house in LA. I will be here for the next three months because I am interning in downtown LA for uh, like a legal internship. So I've actually, actually got my assignment for the summer already and I have to go there this week to take my photo id and get a live scan but i'm super excited to be home like i miss this so much like the smell everything there was once in like my lifetime where i didn't like vlogging here because it doesn't like look as aesthetic as like my apartment but i missed here so much and i took it for granted and i won't do that again <laughs> look at this pretty baby this pretty baby he's so big now oh my goodness oh you're staring at yourself is that you so it's currently monday right now um half of the day is already gone but in a little bit my sister and i are going to go get sushi and i'm going to be eating like sushi with real fish for the first time in like a year because i'm i want to eat fish and i'm breaking my veganism um for the next week or so just for like fish that's the only thing i'm interested in having i don't want um chicken i don't want beef no, nothing like that i just literally want fish so we're gonna go and have some sushi and then i'm gonna go get some braiding hair because i'm doing what i do best when i come back make my mom's life terrible by making her braid my hair um so we're gonna uh do some knotless braids um probably start tomorrow but i'm gonna go get some braiding hair and i need to take down this hair um, and then wash my hair because I haven't washed my hair in like two weeks, so it's very gross. Um, but that's what's happening today. Welcome to the vlog. y'all it's like three in the morning i came home after getting home from sushi and like i fell asleep because of like the sake bomb that we did um and then we came back home and my sister and i took like a little like sake shot together um i guess this is like my celebration for my first year ending or whatever but i fell asleep um, and I just woke up and I'm like, I took down all my hair because if we're supposed to do my hair in the morning, it still needs to be washed. It's like hella dirty. I still need to wash it. I need to like dry it, do all the stuff. And like, I went to the hair salon yesterday and it was closed and it doesn't open until 10 a.m. Y'all, be honest with me. How bad y'all think she gonna be my ass in the morning? <laughs> be honest. Until then until a couple hours from now until i die basically um i'm enjoying my little you know post braid curl pattern with the dirt up top that you should just ignore but look at this curl pattern i high key forgot that i cut my hair um so when i took off like my first couple braids i was like <laughs> did i cut my hair nah girl nah but look at this girl pattern like ooh, she's a biracial she's a biracial girl <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Good morning, everyone. So we got the hair all done. I know I didn't show like it when I got it done, finished getting it done yesterday, but this is what it looks like. I'm just going to go into the light really quickly. It is like cloudy outside, but this is it i was gonna go with black at first and i was like i kind of want something that has like a little bit of a color uh, because it is hot girl summer you know what i mean also something that i could just wear to work so this is it this is my mom's first time ever doing knotless braids and let me tell you guys i will never go back to like knots in my braids like now that i i'm here it makes no sense to have knots in the braids like i i have a lot of braids in like a steady amount of braids in 
and I don't feel it at all. You guys know after you get your braids done, like you can't move them. At least sometimes I can't move them. I can't sleep on my like on my head uh, because it kind of hurts sometimes. I have no pain. I could just like move my braids around. It's awesome, but love it. This is my first, my mom's first time doing it, and I think she really knocked it out the park. She did not know what not what his box braids were until I introduced it to her like literally two days ago, and she was like, okay. I'm giving you very much Y2K, I think, or early 2000s, you know, with the little fit, with the little kid thing in the back, you know, very mom. <laughs> um, I am about to go to the store. I need to get a shirt or some like business attire for my job because tomorrow we're going to head out to LA um, to get my live scan done for my internship and then get my photo ID done. Um, so I need to dress in like business attire and I didn't pack anything because honestly I didn't have anything so I didn't pack anything. So I need to go at least buy like one nice top, maybe some nice pants um, for the photo ID. I also want to maybe go get my eyebrows done. Um, my aunt's coming later today and she's going to cook fish. Honestly, oh my god, you guys. I have been down bad since I had that sushi. Down horrible. Like, my body is rejecting all types of meat. Like, I've been nauseous. My head's been hurting um, for the last two days since I had it. And I just started feeling better yesterday. But my aunt is coming to cook fish today. And I will be having that because that's what I wanted to actually have and not the fucking sushi. Um, but I'm going to have that. And then after that, I'm done. Mm -mm. It's not giving all I thought it was going to give. I'm going back to my veganism. This is... Mm -mm. Good morning. I'm about to head off to LA to get my life scan and my ID taken. And this is what we've got going on right now. Um, I bought this at the thrift store because I decided to go to the thrift store yesterday, as you guys saw. And it's so cute. Literally, my entire outfit is like thrift store. But I didn't buy shoes because I need to do that. Um, so I'm just going to wear some flats when I get in. And I'm going to wear my um, Steve Madden's um, on the way there. But we need to go. I also need to stop at the print shop because my sister used all the printer paper. The drawbacks of living with people kicks in. <laughs> Um, so we need to do that and then head out. So we're gonna go. You guys look at me in this outfit. I look like I work in corporate America. <laughs> Especially with like the babies in the back. I look like a mother. Y'all, I have been in LA for an hour. An hour. And I am uh, out forty dollars. I'm pretty sure it's just for breathing at this point. Like I just got out of my car, and someone was like, "Yeah, that'll be forty dollars, ma'am." Um, so I'm out forty dollars, um, and it's just chaotic. Can you guys remind me why I wanted to live here again? Because <laughs> um, what the fuck? Ooh, this hair on me though. Mm, mm, get into it. Get into it. Anyway, I've been sitting here just staring off into space, but I wanted to go get food, and now I feel bad spending money, given that I've already like spent money. <laughs> today by doing fucking nothing but i want to go to glossier glossier is apparently permanently closed <laughs> so we can't do that i want to go to earth cafe but there's a long line i'm just like i'm just gonna look how long it takes us to get home i'm hoping not an hour um try and beat some traffic and just get home because mm -mm, mm -mm. but i was in like stationed not down here which is i'm glad now because i saw where i was put um so i'm technically working downtown but they stationed me elsewhere um so i'm going to be working more towards compton and i'm glad now i'm glad now because i don't want to be here this is crazy guys i am in irvine <laughs> uh, i just like arrived to irvine i'm at my best friend's house right now uh, her apartment and we're gonna go out later to go to like a bar i guess called the wild goose tavern and i've never been there but it's in costa mesa um and i decided to leave early even though we're going like really late at night because i wanted to like skip traffic because traffic here something i completely forgot about is horrible so i barely managed to skip some traffic i hit some on the way here um but the fact that Nicki minaj released her old you know mixtape on uh, itunes and everything like that kept me going it really is what i needed to get back into spirituality like itty bitty piggy on my um apple music yes sir 
but I'm in Irvine right now. I have my bag full of like clothes and stuff that we're gonna change into. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna wear because I ordered it from Amazon um, like yesterday, uh, which I think is kind of weird, right? Isn't Amazon a little sketch? Like it's a little sketch. Something about it is a little sketchy. I'm just gonna keep ordering stuff. It's just a little sketchy. Like I just ordered it yesterday. Um, I ordered these shoes. They're like kind of like very much in style right now. Before we go out, I'm gonna go to my friend's house, my best guy friend's house. That was that was a sentence and go hang out with him for a little bit because we haven't hung out in like a year decided to come outside to show you guys the lemon tree because her window was dirty but first of all you can already see these big ass lemons on the floor but look at this look how beautiful this is they're huge wow oh and then over here we've got oranges like wow i miss california <laughs> okay we're done getting ready this is the makeup and then i'm wearing this like brown corset top that you guys have probably seen all over amazon um i bought it i do not have the boobs for it but i do think it looks good i wish i could like raise myself higher but yeah you guys can kind of see that's what we're wearing today and with the shoes that i showed you guys earlier that's what we're going to wear to go out but like this hair is so like it's just giving me so much life like i can't <laughs> Dog. <laughs> um, we're home obviously uh, the more I get away from Greek life like the older I get the more I'm just like Greek life was a fever dream like it should be banned because <laughs> the way that I remember people just drinking every day like every night I mean I didn't drink a lot when I was in there but I people were insane and it's just I can't even imagine being back at that space. Like, I really can't. Um, but good morning. We got home yesterday around midnight. Um, right now, I'm, I'm outside. I'm gonna get some orange juice from the tree and we're gonna make some orange juice and then go home um, because I miss my cat. Um, and then I think we're gonna do something later tonight. We were supposed to do something this morning, um, but it was at 9 a.m. and we were not gonna wake up for that because that's insane. sitting here in my car chilling right about to go home and then boom a massive wave of post-exam anxiety just just hit me and I'm just like damn I didn't talk about this last semester because I didn't feel it last semester as much I think after uh class ended <laughs> last semester I felt so good to just be done that I didn't even really feel this but there's so much writing on obviously our grades our gpa literally at the beginning of august in a couple of months we have oci which is like a bidding process for how you get like a job especially for like the private sector so say you get like uh, an offer to work at a a law firm for like your second summer which is what you go through the process for the chance that that law firm is going to hire you after you graduate is like 90 something percent honestly uh, unless you like really really mess up so there's a lot writing on like your gpa and your grades to put you ahead of the competition because you're literally competing against your classmates and i'm just like anxious right now because i just like ah i got this feeling like oh my god you missed that issue and i was like oh shit may have or like i just get this feeling that oh my god maybe i mischaracterized things or maybe i looked at the question wrong maybe i answered the wrong thing maybe i just oh my god my heart's like beating like you don't even understand like it's beating so fast i'm getting like sweaty just thinking about it just thinking about my grades and thinking about like what i missed and what i could have written about and what i didn't and all this other stuff like and what if my i just remembered how gpas work too and the fact that i'm thinking what if my gpa doesn't get any higher or like you know whatever and i just remember it could get lower <laughs> ah my goodness I need to meditate clearly because my my head is just like I've been sitting here for at least like 20 minutes. Like just, just like, 
in like a daze just so I need to meditate but it does make me feel a little bit better because before I left North Carolina I was talking to one of my friends who was in my uh civil procedures class and <laughs> she said that there was an eerie problem on the test if you're uh, in law school you, you know what I'm talking about I don't want to explain what an eerie problem is because I don't want to remember that but she said that there was an eerie problem on the test I didn't see one so I didn't talk about it so it kind of makes sense the grade that I got or at least I didn't get as high as I thought I should have uh, because I missed a whole ass fucking issue but then it doesn't make sense because I got a pretty decent score uh, for missing a whole issue so it makes me feel a little bit better that if I did miss something then I'll still like I don't know I'll still do pretty well but it's just like I need to meditate we are about to go into Elefante in like two seconds um, but right now we are in the garage, which is parked. This is the fit. Yeah. Can you guys see that? It's loud. I know it's loud. I know it is. It's buzzing in Santa Monica tonight. So, super excited. Tuesday, May 18th. Wow, why did I say it like that? Um, I'm on babysitting duty and I've been since yesterday because my mom wants um, to take a little vacation for herself and usually Mondays and Tuesdays are her days to babysit Nova. Uh, but since I'm here, I can babysit Nova. So I've been like a mother, you know, like I'm taking care of her. I'm taking care of Grace Kelly because Grace Kelly's getting jealous. You know, I'm a mom. <laughs> Someone's up. It was a, it was a good 15 minute nap. I woke up this morning and I was gonna meditate, but before I even got a chance to like think about it, I had a baby on my lap, so I didn't get a chance to do that. But I got this wild ass message from Tinder. I downloaded Tinder like two days ago. I just wanna, someone's upset, all right. So yeah, I like downloaded Tinder because I was like, let me go look at some pretty men, whatever. And I was talking to my best friend Cheyenne and she was like, Tinder's like a hookup site. And I'm like, I think every app, unless it's like for marriage, is a hookup site. I just, I don't care about that. I just want to like see pretty men. Like, why not? Love free boys. Um, but then, wake up this morning, do a oh, wild ass test message. And I had to check this man's age because I was like, if you're 19 or like 18, that makes sense. But not you being 25 texting that. Like... Ugh. and he's pretty too so i was like man maybe we just need to start gaslighting men making them think they're not handsome because if this is the way you guys are acting like i'm about to delete the ad to be honest <laughs> because no it's not worth it like no on um, tomorrow shine and i are going to joshua tree for a couple days and i'm super excited because i'll have time to like kind of jumpstart the whole getting back into a spiritual grind. Not that I need to jumpstart it. I'm spiritual just by breathing, but I would really like to be in that space and just, you know, enjoying nature, um, doing yoga, breath work, and just kind of being out there. So I'm really excited about that. So we need to go out and get a bunch of like stuff for it because we just, we're not campers and we haven't planned anything. <laughs> so we need to get stuff from like Target, propane tanks, things like that. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's most of what I'm going to do today. At the Home Depot, about to, oh my god, I don't know what anything is. I'm so confused. My way into a 40 plus year old man's pants. <laughs> Hello friends, it is the next day. I'm just really bad about this vlogging on vacation thing. I think I'm recouping from the lack of sleep or just like a messed up sleep schedule when I was studying because I came home yesterday and I knocked out. I just knocked out. I'm about to go to some place to buy ice for the ice box I bought yesterday, store all our goodies. 
But what's on my mind today is I remember the horrors when it comes to like attempting to date or attempting to talk to people when you are a black woman, especially when you are a dark skinned black woman. Because yesterday I came across somebody that I was like, oh, this person is like really look good looking. Like I want to message them. And it just kind of like dawned on me just like the like your the pit in your stomach when you're just like oh I hope they like black women or I hope they like dark-skinned black women and when I was in Greek life in undergrad I noticed that people would talk to me more especially men would talk to me more when I had like a weave on or just like hair that kind of looked like you know a weave or something like that but when I have braids in it's so much harder to get people to try and like to come up to me basically um because I guess I just look more ethnic or something I had like completely forgotten about that part of the experience of dating like the fear that you're gonna get rejected not because you are whatever but because you're just like a dark-skinned black woman and you know you're kind of like this specialty item at the grocery store terrible analogy but that's the one I'm going with where not a lot of people like it just a couple and you have to find those few that do like it and it just sucks <laughs> I forget what study it was and what year they did the study where it was like black women are literally at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to like the dating scene um that really no other like race or whatever really is checking for black women like that and I think it was black women and then Asian men at the bottom I was just kind of thinking about that today and it just felt terrible like it felt it made me feel like shit like I, I, honestly it really did like that's just that's just like the truth of it I felt terrible just like thinking like oh should I message this person um why I don't want to I don't want to embarrass myself what if he's not into like black girls like what if I'm just you know all these other thoughts that people don't have to think about and it just kind of sucks the more I think about it the more it just upsets me like I'm getting visibly just upset all morning because black women don't deserve this we don't deserve to have this dread this feeling this constant fear that oh my god I'm not going to be able to get like a partner I'm not going to be able to get someone that I want or I'm um, if if I do get someone I want, it's gonna be like a, like a fucking experiment or something, you know? Black women are trendsetters. We are the beauty standard, except we don't get to keep any of the stuff that we, we set, like we make trend. Society ends up making it better on other people. And we just, we end up always at, at the back of the fucking line and it just fucking blows. And I'm not just talking about like, you know, white men. It's literally all of them, especially black men. Like, especially black men too. It's just, it's literally everyone and it just, it gets exhausting. And that's the thing that's where a lot of the unhappiness with Kim Kardashian and her family comes with because, you know, that's our body or that's, yeah, that's literally our body on her, but it just, you know, is better, it's more marketable on her than on us. And it just blows. And I was just thinking about like, that I didn't realize until I ended my last relationship that I thought that there was no issue with my skin in my last relationship. I don't know why, I just thought that. But it wasn't until the end that I realized that I was kind of like their little rescue. <laughs> Which upsets me. Like it's not until I realized at the end that when they were making a really big deal about the fact that I should have been grateful for literally everything, they literally for just letting me exist in their household, I should have been like kissing their feet or something. And it's like, what? Or like because I was dating someone who was you know obviously lighter than me and had more money than me, lived in a bigger house than me, that somehow like he was the gift. And it's like, baby, I'm the gift. I'm the gift. Like what? I'm just mad. We, we never catch a break, we just don't. But I'm happy that this is happening now because I have so many things that are coming up and I'm just happy that I get to spend the summer just dealing with all of this stuff, like just processing all of it. Um, but we're gonna go get ice and then we're gonna go to Joshua's room. <laughs> and it is windy a little chilly but it's almost sunset um we took a 20 minute unintended detour because we were laughing at memes i didn't realize we're going the wrong way for 20 minutes okay let's look at the place and here it is it's just a big old tent we've got a, a bed a couple seats they left us wine which is super nice and it's actually really tall so i'm really happy about it 
um, this should be a really fun experience. I'm so happy we decided to go with this one. It's really nice, and here's where the door is right there. good morning it is saturday yeah saturday um we just got up enjoyed the sunset it was beautiful i forgot how beautiful sunsets and like the palm springs area is it's just absolutely gorgeous um right now we're getting ready for the day i think we're gonna start by going on a little hike um cheyenne just figured out how to make the shower warm so we are definitely going on the hike um, she struggles for about 20 minutes <laughs> Turns out she didn't turn on the propane tank, um, but it's been kind of a journey already just being here and trying to figure out how to make stuff work because uh, I've never been like camping before. I've been glamping. I guess this is kind of glamping, but like when I went glamping last time, it was like glamping. This is this is some other stuff. <laughs> I recently bought like three spiritual books. I'll show you guys the rest of it when I get home, but this is one of them and it is called cutting through spiritual materialism um i don't want to massacre the name but i want to learn how to say that so that's the author i don't know who i saw this being recommended by i forget um, but i just saw it somewhere decided to buy it and thus far i'm really only about to hit the first chapter i never read the introductions i did it here and it was actually really really good so I'm super excited to just be reading this over the next couple of days. I want to read as much as possible before I start working a lot and before I start, you know, go back to school. I got the book because I feel like when it comes to spiritual practice, it's really easy to, you know, fall in the pitfalls of it and to get, you know, wrapped up in ego and just i think the book is basically about how you can think you're practicing spirituality but instead you're reinforcing your ego to through spiritual techniques um which is something that i really am interested in learning about and making sure that i'm not doing because i want to get so deep in my spirituality and so in touch with myself and with nature and with all of that um while i have time right now um before we go back to class i wanted to show you guys something else so i got this journal from amazon it came a lot smaller than i thought it was gonna come um but i love it like how like rustic it looks i also got the uh canon iv and this i think cheyenne has it first um she usually gets stuff before i get stuff so i know like when i need something i'll just ask her and she'll recommend it um but i got the canon iv and it just prints um like photos like obviously small photos and it's like sticky on the back already and you just peel it and i already started kind of writing not writing but just putting some photos in here from the last couple of days that i've been here in california and i'm kind of glad that it's small um because i never finish a journal anyway um but i'm just like i love printing stuff and being able to put them in my journal and i'm super excited to do it to this one are back in the tent <laughs> i'm laying down i'm not gonna get up um shannon's got therapy for like an hour you know healthy girl shit doesn't stop when we're on vacation i think we're going to pioneer town next and then just to check out the town but it's super cute down here like really cute uh, the hiking was like okay <laughs> we got like kind of bored um because it's the desert there's really nothing to really see like what you see is what you get when you're driving up lots of rocks uh, we made a lot of spongebob jokes about him like riding the rock when he was delivering the pizza because it was also windy we did stop by this little like gift shop that you guys saw obviously and it was really cute uh really nice stuff in there 
uh, and they had a lot of books about you know Native Americans and their rituals and just like their practices and I was about to buy some but I'm just not sure about like what if I buy cultural books I don't like buying them from gift shops unless I like I know that they're getting I, I don't know I don't know how to explain it it's just like it feels strange to me to buy like cultural books from gift shops I did get some incense and they had some sage white sage but I just read something the other day about how white sage is like an issue with it and the natives are uh, not finding it to use it because so many people is being like just mass you know like picked up uh, I forgot to say uh, this morning I tried uh was it sausages real sausages for the first time and real eggs for the first time in like a year and the sausages were okay like i don't just red meat just meat in general outside of fish that my aunt cooks not giving what it's supposed to give up uh, the eggs were pretty good though um but i think that the just egg that's like the vegan substitute it's actually a pretty good substitute so it was good to try it though y'all i got my caucasian woman hat on so you know it's serious. out of Pioneer Town. We just got some souvenirs. We have stickers, Pioneer Town stickers. We got each got rings, which are most definitely not worth 20 bucks. I'm pretty sure they're not, but we're on our stupid um, tourist tourist shit. So we don't care. And then Cheyenne got boots. Come show me your cowgirl boots. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> Off the chain. You guys, we decided to go to another thrift store um close to the tent that we're staying at and it is the best place ever first of all look at this hangout spot that's cheyenne stuff we're getting we're gonna try that on look how cute this blazer is let me see that is super oh how much is that it's 20 bucks it's it's worn in oh wow that's gorgeous you guys look at these pants look at this like perfect fit look at my butt oh my god you guys that store that we were just in gagging gag it's called the end um i have never wanted to gatekeep something so badly in my life but it's not like those thrift store the like vintage stuff but it's not really vintage like they actually buy stuff off of you know older people who have a bunch of clothes from like the 90s the 80s or whatever and the pants that i got oh my god it has the, like the 90s belt like <sighs> I cannot wait to wear that. I can't wait to wear it. We're gonna check it out again tomorrow morning because she has, or she told me the owner said she had a bunch of like 90s camisoles. Um, so we're gonna check it out in the morning, but I'm super excited. There's also some other stuff that she like said, you know, go check out this artist. So excited, so excited. Good morning. Another day of not being murdered in the desert. I'll call that pretty successful. Cheyenne and I obviously watch way too many true crime uh, documentaries, series, YouTube videos. Literally on the way here, we're watching it. We watched some last night. Um, it's all good and fun until it is like 10, 11 p.m. It's dark AF out here and we are two women alone in the desert. At least there are like houses around, so it wasn't like that bad, but we were thinking about what we would do if someone came to murder us in our tent and we had a pretty solid plan. We had the heater on, just throw it at them. We had knives, <laughs> cut the Achilles heel. <laughs> like we were planning, like literally. Being like a woman alone anywhere, so dangerous, <laughs> sucks. But self-defense plans aside, um, it is currently like 9 a.m. Our checkout is at 11, but we are already super early, so I don't know what we're gonna do. Obviously, we want to go back to the thrift store, like I said yesterday, and check out some of the tops that the lady had. Um, and they open at 11 a.m. And then we're gonna head down to Palm Springs to hang out with a friend that I made here. And then we're gonna head home, but it's been really nice vacation. I don't think that I've ever, I've always have like one friend like one friend that i always hang out with that i never like fell out with and i don't think i've ever been in a position where i'm like really content with that i've always wanted to be in like a big friend group i always felt like there was something wrong if i wasn't a big friend group um but it's been really nice to 
just hang out with my best friend and just us two and just have a blast. We're very similar but also very different. Um, but we laugh a lot and it's been uh, very like eye-opening and just relaxing. I am going to be looking for an online way to get like my therapy sessions because uh, Duke only gives us free therapy sessions during the school year. Um, but after that, after the school year ends, we have to pay like $70 per session, which is like a lot considering that I have insurance. <laughs> that is a lot of money. Um, so I don't have Medi-Cal anymore in California like I used to because obviously I went to North Carolina. So I'm trying to figure out the best affordable way to get therapy um, while doing it like virtually or maybe even in person. But I'm more thinking like virtually so I can have uh, that flexibility. So if you guys know any good places online to get therapy, let me know. Some issues that I am noticing over the last couple of uh, days that I've been outside of school ending 1L is one, obviously, the post-exam anxiety that is plaguing me. I've researched it and everyone's like, you know, you already submitted it, it's done, and I do realize that, but at the same time, it is just kind of crippling when it comes, like, it's just... <laughs> crippling then all of the emails that we're getting right now is basically like get a job have you gotten a job <laughs> like my school emails just racked with like how to get a job get a job get a job and i'm just like ah i also have noticed some things that i just like residue from being a 1L and I'm hoping that maybe some law students who watch this can kind of validate me a little bit but I can't read for pleasure anymore like even the book that I have now it's a wonderful book I noticed that I was struggling to read it um like slowly and not like I'm reading like a case in terms of like uh, there's a point here and I'm trying to find it there's a rule there's a holding there's facts whatever I'm trying to find everything and not just like just reading to enjoy but just it, it, I'm just like rushing through it and it sucks and I don't know how to stop doing that. Also, I've noticed like an inability to make my body and my mind realize that I'm on vacation. Over here, it's been a lot easier because I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's just because we're kind of like alone, uh, but I can't seem to relax <laughs> because I feel like I should be doing something. And obviously everyone is doing case note right now. They're writing um, for like the journals. I decided not to write for any journal because I'm interested in a big law, transactional work, and that talking to a bunch of attorneys to do the same, it's not gonna help my job prospects at all. Um, and I don't necessarily think I want to spend my two weeks uh, writing when I don't think it's going to benefit me, like literally at all and over the last two weeks I realized that I can't seem to relax like I just like get kind of angsty I'm like I should be doing something I feel weird like just spending the day doing nothing is like strange to me and I just ugh, I just need to like talk to someone about that so if you guys have any tips let me know but anyway, it's been fun. <laughs> and I will have this Airbnb linked down below. It's awesome. We really liked it. Also, quick side note, speaking of like spirituality and spiritual materialism and all of that stuff, I recently watched this documentary, this really beautiful, well put together documentary on a YouTube channel. And it always amazes me how people can just use their platform on YouTube and make you know things like that for free uh, basically because it's not monetized but it was speaking about like the law of attraction specifically and um, one of the things that I did that I found really like insightful and something I've never seen anyone do before is that a lot of people credit you know their ideas or whatever or their success to uh, the secret both the documentary and like the book and what he did was go back Watch The Secret and found all of the people who were part of that little documentary and what they were doing now. So because a lot of them claimed that the law of attraction helped them do these like really outlandish things. One woman claimed that the law of attraction helped her to get rid of her cancer. And then when he went back and found her again, she'd actually died of the same cancer. The main thing that I really took from that was a lot of the people who do things like they sell meditations, guided meditations, they sell books, all of that, all of those things. Some of the big wigs in the law of attraction, the secret, all of that. They have some really 
problematic tendencies, okay? And I found it like super troubling because obviously being problematic, anyone being problematic is bad. But I feel like especially if a lot of people depend on you for like spiritual guidance and like um, getting wisdom on enlightenment and how to live their like their lives to like better to the fullest. Um, and it was just kind of like, ugh. and that's why I've been gravitating a lot more towards like Hinduism and Buddhism, especially like just practices that really seem to encourage the fact that you don't need anyone outside of yourself to get that uh, guidance and to to um, come into yourself. I mean, personally, I've noticed, and a bunch of other people have noticed, that a lot of people who seem to push this kind of tone deaf version of uh, the law of attraction are like white wealthy women, uh, women that come from wealthy families who credit their success to the law of attraction, but it's like their parents are supporting them through their endeavors. So is it? like really the law of attraction and it is easier to be in a uh, better state of mind when you're already surrounded by you know wealth and beauty and um, they don't seem to a lot of them actually and I'm not even on spiritual side of TikTok anymore because a lot of them don't seem to acknowledge that there's a bunch of other things going on that is outside of themselves that people are struggling with like mental illness for example really great example when it comes to like your your thoughts or everything and it's like people struggle with mental illness babe Mackenzie, I'm at Art Queen right now. Look at this studio, you guys. Like, the vibes are immaculate. I'm currently picking out the banner. I wanted this one, but it is $150. <laughs> so they do have this little section here where you can just pick out like little patches. So I think I'm just gonna pick those out. Also, there's some patches in here. Jesus with his kittens. We have It's Naked Lesbian Day all of this fun stuff. So I'm gonna pick out some, probably buy that, and then end up putting it on like a string myself to hang up in my room. All right, guys, I'm home. I am so tired. Uh, the trip was amazing, but there's nothing better than being in your own house and sleeping on your own bed and going to the bathroom in your own toilet. Like, there's just nothing better. I'm about to end the vlog. I just wanna show you guys the books that I was talking about earlier that I got. Obviously, you guys already saw the spiritual materialism book that I've been reading. That's the one that I'm really digging right now. Um, but let me show you guys the other ones that I bought recently. So I have this one right here, The Heart of the Buddhist Teachings. Um, this one I already have on my iPad, but I wanted a physical copy. I don't think I'd like reading on my iPad and honestly being on break I don't want to touch my iPad it reminds me of school I don't want to touch it so got this book and then I got this book it's called the little bit of auras it's basically obviously about auras I don't know how interested I am in this right now so I might return this one we'll see I just mostly want to focus on reading and um, digesting understanding the spiritual materialism book and then go on to this one and really actually read it and fully digest it and then maybe we will get to this one in time also i was able to do my little photo thing in my journal you guys already saw this page of the journal um this is the one that i did for the trip and i just like how small it is i really do dig it um it's been really fun to just kind of cut things up and make them fit together i have these stickers that i bought or got from pioneer town i have another one from uh what was the other place joshua tree like when we went to go hike and then i have this one this is from the end uh thrift store that we were just in and it's like my favorite place i just really think the art is cool so i kind of want to stick it in somewhere in here i just need to find some glue or some tape but that is kind of what that looks like and with that i bid you goodbye i'll see you next time bye